Live from our newsroom, it's the Hard Times Podcast. With Bill Conway and Matt Sankum. John, um, I don't want to ask you questions that you you had Matt. in your other interviews. People can go dig up those interviews themselves. So I'm going to ask you something that's on my mind. I okay. have a spider bite. And it is getting really sore and oh. red. But I Wait, don't have health insurance bite? for another. It's like in my like on my pec. <laughs> okay. Um, uh-huh. And I don't have health insurance for another 20 days. So here's the question. You, you, Do you want I... some unsolicited medical advice <laughs> from a guy in a band? <laughs> here's the question. Do I risk it and try to wait 20 days? Or do I bite the bullet and go pay it to see if this spider bite is a brown recluse? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. I mean, there are like all sorts of, you know, it was a spider or you're assuming it was a spider. I'm assuming. I don't really know. You didn't see that it was a spider. So is it a bullseye? No. Is it, is it a big yeah, round do, Does it have two bite? distinct that would be, marks? That would be, a, that would be no. a lime tick if it's got a bullseye. No, there's no bullseye there's just like it kind of turned into like the middle of it it looks like um like a like a blood blister or something or like a scab or something so it looks like not i think good. if if it really hurts you should take some benadryl and be prepared to sleep because that's mm. basically the anti-inflammatory of choice for a lot of bites uh, I'm gonna do that. We're taking callers here at dr <laughs> john the day tripper um so uh yeah, so so I guess I got to throw it to you, Bill. Do you got have any medical questions you'd like to run by me? Uh, yeah, well, in, in lieu of uh, practical, realistic, real advice. So I haven't been bitten by any b- uh, bugs lately myself, but my dog recently had a flare up where his face uh, swole up pretty bad. What do you think? Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles, and what do you think the most common uh-huh. dog allergy I might have to look out for is uh, <laughs> while taking care of this dog? I'll take my answer off the air. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling, Bill. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, we got to go to break right now. Um, but uh, but uh, I heard that dogs can get COVID, which actually was sort of freaking me out. Oh yeah, my dog is. I know dogs can get Lyme disease. Like he will. My dog has been going to protests <laughs> right. saying Fauci is a fascist, and I'm like, dude, right. chill. You know, like you're a right. dog. He's starting. A, he's starting a band with the guy from Offspring. Yeah. <laughs> On John um, on tour, did you ever run into anyone who had like, um, cra- like any weird, crazy, uh, like artsy punk house sort of injuries? Because I definitely played a show at a place where um, someone had show- showed me a brown recluse bite that they got at living in this venue, and they had to take a big old chunk out of her arm. It was brutal. You I have to explain to me what this brown recluse thing is. this a West Coast thing? That, that, oh. Uh, is, is, I, is I don't not, really know about the, the brown recluse. Oh, no. I have a friend in Massachusetts know. who was bitten by a brown recluse uh, spider, and he was um, he, he was uh, he was hospitalized for a while. I think it's the spider that um, killed the guitar player of Slayer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that spider bite. Mm. Uh, um John, you're giving me goddamn wow. medical advice. You don't even know what a brown recluse is. Come on. <laughs> I've got, I, I live I live in the country, and I get spider bites every season, sort of at the height mm. of the summer. It seems like they, there's enough spiders around. So I'm I'm and I'm allergic to spider bites. Pretty you know have been for my whole life, and uh, so I'm I'm completely familiar with having a bad reaction to a spider bite. Mm-hmm. But I don't know about this brown recluse wrinkle. I, I live in constant fear of them just because someone at a punk show showed me their brown recluse bite one time. Hey, Matt, I'm looking at, well, I'm I mean, looking at brown recluses right now, and they, they say they don't even live in California, man. So like, uh, much ooh. like how Oregon doesn't have ticks, it's looking like California Whoa. doesn't have uh, brown recluses. Oh. Well, here in New York State, we got plenty of Lyme ticks. So if you guys want to come over and experience that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good old time. John, I've got, a, I've got another you- question for you. Okay, ahead, okay, Matt. I was just going to ask if you've had to remove any ticks from uh, from uh, some <laughs> unfortunate places because I had a skateboard That's... buddy that uh, had a – because I'm, I'm from Massachusetts, so we had quite a few ticks uh-huh. when we were walking around, and he had to remove one from his scrotum when he realized that a tick had latched Ooh. on there. And uh, I mean, that's not, that's not a fun place to remove a, a tick from. Basically, the I worst. Have had to remove, I've had to remove ticks from my cat's uh, – uh, neck and and 
you know, places that they can't get to. But fortunately, cats can get to their scrotums, so right. I don't have to worry about that. One of the best um, aspects of being a cat is their access to yes. their scrotums. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs>